let's look at what is phenomenography. Phenomenography investigates different ways people perceive a phenomenon. It could be about different ways people think about or different ways people experience. It could relate to a tangible item such as a computer or intangible item such as a software. The focus here is on the differences in perception. The perceptions emerging from data that are collected are grouped as categories of description. These categories of description are also called dimensions of variations. The categories of description have some relationship, mostly hierarchically, but such relationship could be in other ways as well. The categories of descriptions are shown in an out outcome space. In that space, it shows the logical connections among the categories of description. Phenomenography can be compared with internal constructivism and social constructivism. In internal constructivism, Internal mental acts acts as explanation for external acts and behaviors. Realities or meanings are constructed by the individual. In social constructivism, external acts as explanation for internal acts and behaviors. Realities are imposed by the environment on the individual. Phenomenography takes a non-dualistic ontology and coming to know the reality. There's no dividing line between inner world and outer world. Realities arise from interaction between the outside environment and the individual. When a research investigates a phenomenon using phenomenography, it will obtain data from participants about the phenomenon of ways of thinking or ways of experiencing or ways of conceiving the phenomenon. When these data are analyzed and meanings are found and group them, they can be categorized as categories of description. In these categories of description, there's a referential aspect explaining what is it, the relationship among categories. There's also a structural aspect about how is it, the 
the arrangement of categories. If you look at a phenomenography flowchart, we choose a phenomenon. Then we collect data. To collect data, we devise an interview protocol. Select participants for diversity of thinking or diversity of experiencing the phenomena. Then we conduct the interviews, transcribe interviews. As researchers and investigators, we then immerse in data, interrogate data, and interpret the responses for meaning. Based on those meanings that emerges from data, we develop categories and dimensions. These categories are meanings that are grouped into themes. They describe the meanings through categories and dimensions. But to describe the meanings through categories and dimensions, the researcher has to revisit data and refine the categories through iterations. Once they are refined, they are presented in an outcome space. The outcome space describes categories in more detail. And finally, we finalize the outcome space for presentation. If we look at an investigation of key aspects of the range of variation in ways of experiencing being a university teacher, we can look at how university teachers work and come up with categories of description. Academic duty, personal development, personal understanding, and benefiting a community. We also can come up with categories relating to what university teachers do. Research aims, research process, research outcomes, underlying feelings, purpose of publication. Based on categories that we have developed by analyzing data of how university teachers work and what university teachers do, we can analyze data and generate meanings into matrices and each cell in the matrix provides a unique meaning or theme in this outcome space. So the outcome space that is shown in yellow green shows the variations in meaning or variations in experiencing or variations in thinking about.
of being a university teacher.